What's up, people? So in this video, I'm going to be doing a demo on my Korg Triton about the piano that I've done um, a year ago. Um, yeah, a year ago. But um, I'm doing a video now on the piano sound that I said I was going to go over. Um, I'm going to be going step by step on how you can program the piano sound into your Korg Triton um, or X50 um, Extreme Studio whatever chord triton that you own. If you own any period, then this video is for you. So um, watch closely. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start it up. Um, I have both workstations. Um, I have the chord triton midi in um, from my MM8. So I'm gonna be playing like the sounds and stuff on um, the keys on my um, 88 key. Uh, don't worry about the, the lamp. The bulb was kind of um, busted. I had this for like, oof, I had this for years, for some time now. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna go to the category search. Um, yeah, cancel real quick. Category search, um, look for this piano. So what we're gonna do, we're going to look at the parts that are um, involved in the Triton Grand. Um, let's let's veer off real quick. Um, remember the MECJ Grand that I've been telling you guys about? This is the original, the first one that I've made. Um, this, this lamp is really bothering. But this is the um, first uh, piano that I've made and used. So that's that, <clears throat> and this is an eight part. Um, this is an eight part combination um, patch as well too. But um, I may do an, I may do a video on this one on how you can program this one too. So let's go back to the Triton Grand that I was telling you guys about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so this is an eight part. Um, let, me, let me make sure that I'm using all eight parts. Yes. So this is an eight part. Um, combination patch as well um, as you can see I have all the MIDI statuses um, initiated um, from 1 through 8 and um, both oscillators on each program are being used and then these, these are the different um, tuning effects and stuff that I have and that I'm utilizing so let me go back and let's look at the um, kind of patches that we're using. Let's, matter of fact, let's take a listen real quick. All right, so yeah, that's it. So that's that's how it sounds. Um, so the patches, the kind of patches that we're using are just, look at this, uh, right, the the default acoustic piano that, that comes with the Triton Grand. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, Chord Triton LE. These are just the default piano patches. So we're gonna take a look at what, how the, how, how the mixes are and how the tuning program is and the velocities and, and the ranges and all of that stuff the effects all of that stuff we're going to take a look at all of that in this video so let's look at how the mixes are all right so as you can see program one through eight all right so the first program we have the first piano all right and we've panned that all the way to the right completely the second one uh, matter of fact let me um solo it so that you know let me see let me touch the keyboard okay so that's the lower range um this is the lower range all right so we've planted that to the right completely okay yeah so it ends at b all right the volume is up all the way on that one. So let's go to the second program. That's to the right completely. 
Um, the volume is at 90. Yeah, so that's that. All right. Same thing, it, it starts at C and ends at B in the upper register. Um, I'm in the, the range of this. So let's go to the next program. <clears throat> See where this is at. I think what I did there. Yeah, so I put this at mid range. Um, and there's different ways how you can order these programs. It's just like this because I was really trying to um, get the sounds I was looking for on the way as I was creating this this one, this patch. Um, but yeah, it can it can all be um, reordered in a different way. Um, for right now, we're just dealing with it right here. So this is the third program, and we've panned this all the way to the left completely. The volume level is at one hundred. I'm sorry, one hundred twenty-seven. It's at max. All right. So let's move on to the fourth program. All right. So this is panned to the right completely. The volume is at 106. So it's starting at D. So it's starting at D and I think it's moving throughout the rest of the upper um, register of the piano. Yep. All right, so that's the first four. Let's go to the um, second um, four. All right, so this one is um, the fifth program. The volume level is at max, and the pan level is um, to the left completely. All right, so that's that. Let's move on to the next one. Um, this is pan to the left completely. Um, volume level is um, one down from, it's descended down by one um, volume level from max. Um, we have 126. So about the same ranges as how the first um, four, um, how, yeah, so about the same ranges as the first four. Um, let's go to the next one. Yep, same range. Um, let's look at that. That's program seven. That's panned to the right completely. The volume level is at 118. All right, and the last program is um, panned all the way to the left completely, and the volume level is 84. And as you can see, it goes throughout the rest of the keyboard. All right, so we got the volume levels and we've said that the programs are just the um, default acoustic pianos um, that comes with the Korg Triton. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the parameters um, and see what we're working with here. Um, I've went over the um, first perimeter that all um, programs are initiated and that the MIDI Number the media channels are at one. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Let's go to the oscillators. We've we have all the programs. Um, the force um, oscillator modes are just as it is. Um, if it's in program mode, um, the oscillator select. We're using um, both oscillators of the patch um, in each program. All right. So let's go to the portamento. There's nothing being done there. So let's go to the pitch. There's a lot of um, mod modifications that's been done to that um, in the combination mode, all right? Um, I should have said we're in combination mode too, um, just to let you guys know. So we're in combination mode. The first program is as is and So that's just like that. And the second program, let me uh, pan over to that. All right, so we got 
we have the second program the act the detuning is down um, at negative two all right so now with that is to help um, kind of spread the uh, tuning of the piano um, especially when it's spread all right so that's to help with that a little bit um, with this piano it definitely um, helps to do such a thing to help give it a more widened spread uh, tone um, let's go on to the next program um, same thing we have that at negative two <laughs> Excuse the play, I'm just going through it. Um, and the fourth program is just as it is, um, the same as the first program, no tune, no detuning, um, no semitone change or uh, anything of that. Um, my computer went to sleep. My computer went to sleep. Okay, yeah, so nothing of that. We have it as it is, all right. So let's go to the second four. All right. So now the semitone change is at, um, let me hour over that, is at negative six. All right. And we have the detuning at positive 600. All right. Now, reason why that's being done is to give it a more um, brighter tone. Um, especially with, with this kind of grand, um, what I'm doing with this grand is giving it a more stereo tone. And though the um, what's panned on the left may have um, more of a darker lower tone because it's the lower register of a piano. And what I'm doing here, um, right here is um, to the piano that's panned all the way to the right is giving it um, somewhat of a, a little brighter tone and kind of um, shifting the tone to where it's kind of a, um, brighter than what's on, what's being played on the left. So that it'll also give it the effects of a regular grand piano. All right, so we got that. <laughs> so that's, um, that's a lot. Um, so yeah. And you can hear the difference. Um, let, me do it, let me do it like that. Alright, so yeah, you can tell the difference. Let me... Alright, so they, they just played together. So yeah, it's for that purpose. Alright, so uh, going back to that, the fifth program, the semitone is at negative six, and the deep tuning is at um, 600. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. We're moving to program six. Um, I'm sorry, I said program six. Program five was what we changed. So now moving on to program six. Um, the semitone is at negative six, and the actual detuning is at 601. All right, so let me, let me locate that. So you can hear it is, the tone of it is a little bit um, brighter than what you've normally heard so so you can tell the difference so let me play them together So yeah, that's how they sound together, and the reason still stands why I do them like that. Um, moving on to program seven, we have the semitone that is at plus six, all right? And the actual detuning is at negative 603. So, and I think this is the program um, that's mixed in the pans, where it's, um, with um, seven and three, it is it's mixed up. But um, as I said, it can be reordered um, in a different way. Um, you don't have to do it specifically in this order, but it can be reordered in a different way. This program is at um, 
Let's see, let, let me locate it. So it's to give it a warmer tone and giving, giving it some definition. So that's seven, let's hear three. So right here, yeah. So right in this area is where the tone and the warmth comes in at. All right, so yeah, now let's play them together. All right, so that's how it sounds when it's played together. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have the we have at program eight the actual semitone is at plus five and the detuning is at negative five hundred. All right, I have a solo. Yep. And so as you said, that's the upper register of the piano. All right, so we can hear that the bass is being heard a little bit more in this range. Um, not the bass, but the actual tone of it can actually be heard. Heard, um, let's see. Yep, so that's our sound together. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on right here. All right, so let me um, go ahead and unsolo the timbres. So yeah, this is what we have going on in the first edited parameter one of the menu. All right, so as you can see, all right, now let's go down. Let's see what we got going on down here. Um, normally with parameter two is normally just dealing with delays and stuff. As you can see, it's labeled there. Um, there's no delay in this, um, in this patch, so we don't have to worry about doing or doing anything to parameters, uh, too. Um, now the keys, okay, so this is dealing with the, um, key ranges, all right? So let's take a little review, all right? So as you can see, this is what we have going on. Um, the first two is the, um first and the fifth program all right and going on after that is the second and the sixth program and going on to the next one after that is the third and the seventh program and going on after that is the fourth and the eighth all right so that's what we got going on now let me show you where the ranges are starting and where they're ending all right so in this menu, we have the key zones and we're gonna edit the key zones of these um, patches. So the first program is going to be the same as, oh, I had the wrong key. It's gonna be the same as program five and so on and so as I stated in the review. So well, you wanna make sure that your first program um, the bass starts at C negative one. All right, so that's way down there. All right. Um, the next, uh, let's, let's make sure that the top range is ending at B2. What you do there, you make sure that that's the same. You make sure that program five is the same as program one after you um, move the uh, key zones. Now let's move on to the next program. All right. Now the second program um, starts at C3 and it's going to end at B3. What you do, you make sure that program six is the same, and then you move on. All right, program three, C sharp. Okay, so I'm starting at the top. Let's start at the bottom range. 
you have the C4 and the C sharp 5. So that's where it's going to be. That's where it's starting. And this is where it's ending. Alright? Make sure that after you've done that, make sure that program 7 is the same. Alright? Now program 4. And that starts at D5 and goes throughout the entire keyboard, upper range of the keyboard. And you make sure that program 8 is the same as that as well. So, after you've done that, let's take a look and see what else we got going on here. Um, we have velocities. We don't really have much of any velocities, any different velocities. Pretty much the same thing um, throughout the entire program. Um, let's check the um midis let's see what kind of different changes we got so everything is checked here um after touch all of that damper um there shouldn't be any effects there um the damper is the sustain we're gonna um we got that checked all the way through the portal mental switch um okay so nothing nothing different there let's let's move on to the next ones okay so now with this switch here i'm sorry my computer went to sleep again. So with this switch here, um, um, it is dealing with this thing. All right. So this chord, my keyboard, um, just has um, a pitch bend and the modulation um, uh, problem. So I don't even have to touch it. It'll like kind of do a pitch bend or some crazy pitch bend by itself. So what I did there on here is. Um, deselect each and every box because I don't want it changing pitches on me as I'm performing with this piano patch. So that's very imperative to make sure that you deselect every box all right, that's in this menu right here. And also in this menu as well. All right. So the um, edit MIDI, the filter number two, make sure that each and every one of these boxes are deselected in both menus. All right. Let's move on to the next thing. All right. So this is the real time control. This is mainly dealing with if you have each and every um, each and every one of these things uh, assigned and everything. Um, uh, well, really, just you can only assign in the um, B bank. Um, but normally you wouldn't have to really worry about that unless if you're having troubles. Um, if you're having like some um, shortage troubles, then you can deselect each and every one of these boxes too. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this is switch one and switch two. Now, I'm using switch one and switch two as my octave down and octave up button. All right, so for example, um, oh, wait, okay, there we go. So none of these are selected. Now, if I go to select the first one, which is my octave down. All right, so I'm, I'm an octave below. Now, if I deselect that and select the um, second um, switch button. All right, so I'm an octave above. So yeah, I'm using that as my octave down and octave up buttons. All right, so if you want to do that, you can leave each and every these, each and every one of these boxes um, selected, and the foot pedal switch control normally will represents your soft pedal if you have um, the foot pedal or switch um, assigned as that in the global settings. Um, the other control um, changes really doesn't really matter at this point. Um, and that's what we have going on. So we just went over um, this area with the uh, parameters, the keys, and the velocities, and we've went over the medies. Um, I didn't go over the controls and what con kind of controls I have going on. Um, so I'm not really worrying about the knobs because um, it's pretty much at just at default right now is what they are. Um, the switches that I have assigned, the first one, as I said, is my octave down and my second switch 
is my active up button and they're both toggle switches all right so i touch them and, and it stays there i touch it again it, it cuts off all right so yeah that's what we got going on so yeah we've just went over all three areas so now let's move on to the effects over here let's see the patch effects the actual patch effects um uh or the, as known as the insert effects yeah <laughs> so what we have here we have um where, where am i at? all right so what we have here in the insert patch effects um menu we have the first three well let's see we have one two three and five six seven um just going through as um through the left and the right with without any effects um we have the second let's see we have the second send going on with one two three and four five six programs all right um and it's some of them that has like a um like a little bit of um sin one going on so let's take a look at the actual master effects to see what those are okay so the first one is the um stereographic 7 eq and then um the second one is the reverb hall okay so yeah so that's what we got going on all right um so we have these we've already went over that now four and eight are the ones that has the insert effects going on and let's review what that insert effect is and again it's another stereo um graphic seven eq seven bar eq um let's see now what we have here we have the type of it is is the um um the second preset of the um seven eq and we've trimmed it down and it's um, at 69, we got the effect going in all the way um, on the insert effect. And there's nothing, no special things going on here, which is why it's off. All right. So now, this is normal. Um, 320 hertz is normal. Um, we have 630 hertz. Um, we've, we have that up at 7 point, yeah just at um, plus 7.0 all right um moving on after that is the 1.12 all right let's see we got plus 12.5 all right and i'm gonna just try to move on move along through this um the next one is the 3.2 we got negative 9.0 all right the next one is the 8 and you got negative 18.0 all right all right and the last one is the 18 and you have plus 18.0 all right and as we as i said before only programs four and eight are using um this insert effect which is which gives it that um tone more of a tone that i was talking about where it sounds thin at the top um, and it barely cuts through, so that's the reasoning for uh, that's the reasoning behind all of, all of this. All right, so that's what we got going on. Let's take a look back at what we got. Um, so we got four and eight just going through that, and for the insert effect itself, the actual send we have um, sixty seven percent of it, um, which is the reverb hall. So we got some of that going through it. Um, and that's what we have, all right? The master effects. Let's take a look at that, and let's take a look at how much we have um, of the first um, effect that we have, which is the um, seven graphic EQ, the stereo. We got 79% um, percent, um, amount of it. And then we have the reverb hall, and we have just um, three going through that, all right? Let's take a look at the first um insert effect that's on the master effect all right so this the preset is at wide one and i've modified it again um the only things that change um is the uh 220 
hertz and you got the 15.0 um moving on to that is the 500 hertz and you have let's see that yeah that's a five i almost thought it was a nine 5.0 moving on you got one um you got eight plus 18 and moving on this one is just one uh negative 1 1.5 which is the 2.5 all right moving on to the 6.3 you got negative 4.0 and then the last one is 16 and you only have plus 5 going through that all right and the nothing in this term this is just all the way what it is all right and with the um hall reverb hall um i think i just left it like like the preset i think it's just as it is but if you want to look at it excuse me but if you if you want to look at it this is what um i have going with it all right so that's that now let's look at the master eq all right so the low cutoff we have 12 I mean, i'm sorry ugh, 120 all right and the gain of that is 15.0 all right now let me uh kind of move through with that you have the mid cutoff and that's at 1.70 all right and then right here we have it at 8.5 and then the gain of the mid cutoff is 8.5 as well all right now the high cutoff is at 8.30 all right and the gain of that is 18.0 all right that's what we got going on so Let's see here. We took a look at these three sections and we've looked at the insert effect and the master effect. All right, so let's let's play. Let's hear how it sounds. This is the Triton Grand, everybody. And um, I'm gonna play through it a little bit so you can see how it sounds.
All right, so that's going to conclude this video for the day. Um, that's going to conclude this video for this um, Triton Grand. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, there's going to be more videos coming soon. And I'm going to um, do another video on the other Grand that I've done. Um, however, this one, this one may be, I don't know, just be on the lookout for, the, uh, for another um, demo that may be coming up for the uh, Core Triton. Um, stay tuned as well because I have some more patches. I have two um, synth pad patches that I'm going to that I was going to show you guys, and I haven't forgot about that as well too. So I'm going to be doing more sound demos on that, and um, there's a few more other sounds that I have in here. Um, I kind of been I've been doing a, a lot of work on this one. I had since I had it for years. Uh, why not just dig into it and just see what you can get out of it, right? So I'm going to show you guys um, all the other. other Ooh, all the other kind of sounds. It's a lot of stuff up there. All the other kind of sounds that I have um, in the Koi Triton. So stay tuned for that. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about it. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys again.